I'm going to demonstrate how to do a sky replacement in Photoshop on a panorama. On the left is the original shot, on the right the sky replacement. And I'm showing this in split screen and teleport me. And I'm even going to get rid of the pole and some of the wires in the scene. Okay, so the HDRI Skies website is a good source of skies. I'm going to use this one. And I've resized it to exactly fit the 7296 by 3648 Ricoh Theta Z1 panorama. And you can load your panorama into this panel and say OK. And we'll take a look at the sun position and we're going to slide it over using the offset filter try to get it in the place that the original sun was that's about right and we're going to work on the mask a little bit to deal with those poles So we'll deal with just the one pole and I can alt click on the mask and retouch that pole out. The mask is usually not pure white so you might want to increase the brightness and the contrast so that uh, when you clone you're not going to see the pole. So I'm going to paint out or actually clone out this pole. It's almost gone. I can see a little ghost of it. I can fix that a little bit better by increasing the brightness and contrast of the mask. It would probably take about 15 minutes or so to do a perfect job of this. So let's take a look and that large pole has pretty much disappeared. And with a bit more work, I could make this perfect. Now, a lot of extra layers are created. Some of them don't contribute much to the panorama. You can turn them off. And that's it. Replacing a sky.